See Beyond the Frame with Jen Expand is our topic today. Uh, a little bit of our coffee break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. So we have a new tool that we want to um, show you, and that's Gen Expand. So what I want to do is I want to show you first some of the tips on how to make it work the best that it can, and I'll show you an easy example and then a more complicated example. All right, so here we are with Gen Expand. Now, to maintain, now, first of all, what is Gen Expand? I guess I should go back to that first to tell you Gen Expand. Okay, let me get back to where I was. There we go. All right, so first of all, Gen Expand is our new feature to take your borders and then extend them. And why do we need to do that? Well, if let's say you cut a person's head off or you need more real estate with the photo, that's where Gen Expand is going to help you to go out or extend the borders, you know, top, bottom, all the way around to the side of the image itself. All right. So with that, to maintain the quality, the canvas can be extended or expanded by about 25% beyond the original image. Now, a prompt can assist you in realizing your vision or addressing undesirable results. So not only can I extend something, but I can actually put in the prompt and tell it what I want it to extend to. And then it's much more efficient or effective to focus on one side rather than trying to expand two or more sides. So it's better to go in smaller pieces than using bigger chunks. So like here, it's better to generate about 10% of the picture instead of going with the full 25%. This helps keeps AI from having to imagine too much. And what that means again is if I expand it huge to 25%, AI has to figure out based on the image what you want to expand it to. And then last, you can expand more of one photo multiple times, all right? So with that, let me jump right in. You saw this image from before. I downloaded this actually from Adobe Stock, and I like it, except there's not enough headroom. The girl, um, the girl is cut off here, and there's not enough of the uh, snowman. So if I'm in the catalog view, you'll notice over here is where you'll see the generative tools. If I double click on the image, I'm still in catalog view up here. Again, notice I'll have my generative tools. Well, I want to come to generative expand. Now from here, you'll see prompts in a moment giving you suggestions. Do you remember it said it's better to go with a smaller sizes at a time? I'm going to go Outrageous. I'm going to do this first. Actually, you know what? Let me, I'm going to hit the reset button here. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do what I'm not supposed to do. I'm going to expand here. And I'm going to expand here. So look what I just did. I, I expanded and I want Gen AI. I'm not going to give it a prompt. I'm going to tell it, hey, look, look at this image. You tell me what you think would look really good in place of what I just expanded to. Now, I'm doing this for a reason, because I want you to see the results. When, when I expand it the way I just did, and not did it inch by inch, you'll see what it does. But notice down here, it's going to tell us each time, um, if you want an object, or to add an object to, or remove, to generate, um, do it inch by inch, all right? So it's going to give you tips along the way. And look what I just did. It came out really good only because I knew after practicing it, it would. But this isn't the normal results. So this isn't how we would normally get the results. But I wanted you to see it just to show you it works. But the engineers, again, let's see if we have it connected yet. Yep, right here, it shows you and tells you more about what we're doing with the, the gen. So if you get confused, just click on the um, information icon 
and it'll tell you exactly what the tool is doing. Click more, you'll be able to go to a detail page. So for this image, like I said, it worked. I'll just save it for now. Now that we have that, let's come over to this image here. So with this image, we have a, with, with lots of problems. Um, it was a horrible photo I took, but let's say that church, this is in St. Paul's um, Episcopal Church in Key West, Florida. We had major hurricanes. If we lost this church, and this is the only image of it, well, now I have to repair it. So let's say the, the church called and said, they want me to give them this print, but it is an eight by 10. Well, here's the crop. Eight by 10 ratio is a four by five. Well, look what just happened. If I crop it four by five, I still have all this dead space. Well, if I move it in, well, now I lost half the church. Okay, well, let me see if I rotate it. Well, if I rotate it and I crop it like this, sure, I can get it in, but look, I'm losing a lot of the headroom. Um, and this down here looks really good, all right? So I'm not getting the headroom I want. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to change it to free. And let's expand it up higher. And this looks good right here. So now what I need to do, I'm going to crop it. Now that it's cropped, here is where I need to prepare for my Gen Erase. I'm going to show you the wrong way real quick. If this is how I cropped it, and notice right here, the power lines, the people, the cars, and all this other stuff. Well, if I jump over to Gen Expand right now, it's going to think I want these power lines. So if I expand it, and we'll, we'll do it the correct way. We'll do a little bit at a time. If I expand it like this and click Expand, it's going to assume I want the power lines in the image so it's going to do its best to kind of preserve that. Once I have it set, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, once you get on the bottom, you're getting their tips. So while you're waiting for it to generate, read the tips. And look what it did. It did a good job at bringing in a poll, but that's not what I want. I'm going to expand it to here. Let's see what that does. And again, the tip, expand the photos with the well-defined textures around the edges, um, like the sky, sand, or the sea. So those you'll get the best results with. Um, if you want to add an object, or remove one, then use a generative area, specify your request, and that's what you would do right in here. All right? Well, this did a pretty good job. All right? So that did a good job. Now, I'm not going to save this. All right, but look look how this is not the results I want. So I'm going to cancel. So the first thing I'm going to do is orders of operation. Let's get rid of these ugly power lines. So I'm going to come over here to erase, remove power lines. So once the power lines are going to remove are going to be removed, then the next step is I don't want Gen Erase to think, or Gen Expand, to think I want people in my scene, so we'll get rid of that. Let me just click, clean this up just a little bit. So my Gen, there we go. So my Erase looks pretty good. I have that set. All right, so now I want to get rid of these people in the car. So I'll go back to Catalog so I can activate the Gen Tools. And I'm going to use Gen Erase. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get rid of these people here. And just like the other tools, it's better to, to select this, hit Erase, select another one, and so on. But for whatever reason, I noticed this particular image, and I'm going to hit Erase, did a much better job when I erased those two groups of people. Because what I think what's happening is with Gen Erase here, it's analyzing the image. And when it saw me removing one person, but saw the other people in the image, 
It's assuming I just want to swap it out with something else because I didn't give it a command. So that did a, did a phenomenal job there. I'm going to reset it. Let's get rid of these people here. And erase. Good. Um, and then, of course, once again, you could read the tips that it's giving us. So here it comes. And then the last one I'm going to do, of course, will be the car off on the left-hand side. Now, I at first I thought maybe I should just give you screenshots of all this, but I think it's more impressive for you to see what it's doing. And notice, after I get a really good selection and I like my results, I'm going to reset it. If I don't, the next time I hit erase, it'll regenerate that part. So I want to get rid of the car. And erase. All right. So now that I have, well, I will have the, the image prepped, ready to go, now Gen Expand has less to deal with. It could look at this image and it'll know, oh, I see what you want to do. You just want to expand it to make it a little bit larger. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'll just save it. And by the way, once it saves, notice it'll take it to the generative creation. If you don't like it in that folder, just drag it. Just drag it and move it to the location you want. All right, so this was Jenny Race. There we have it. So we have that set. Now we're going to do the expand. Now this is what my expand came out to last time. So let's see if we could duplicate that. So once again, crop. Notice my ratio 4 by 5. I still don't have what I want. Right? So I'm looking at this. I want to crop it right about here. Nope. I definitely have to give more headroom. So, gen, I definitely need my gen add, my gen expand. So let's do it um, a little bit at a time. So I know I need more headroom, which means I'm going to expand this up a little bit like this. They're right about there. But this time, I'm going to give it a prompt. And let's say um, a road, street road. You know what? Tree, a tree lined, tree lined street road. All right. So I'm telling it to put trees and then line the road, line the, the road with trees. And let's see what that does. If I don't like the results, I'll undo, type in a different prompt. Give it a second. And then from here, um, I'll continue on with the, the left side. Look at that. So it did. It did, the, it did the trees and it expanded the road. Now let's do this side. But this time, let's not give it a pump. Let's just see what that does. Expand. So now it's analyzing the image. And it's going to try to be predictive and think, okay, so you, you pushed it out. What would make this new piece look better. Good. Okay. So I'm not a huge fan of what it did. See what it did? See how it added it? So I'm going to um, undo it. And this time, let's just say extend the road. Um, extend the road. So the road's going to be extended, but what's going to be in the background? Uh, with trees, like we did earlier. Let's see what that does. Now, again, if this doesn't do exactly what I want, this is where I could just play a little bit longer. I shouldn't say play. <laughs> From here, I can experiment a little bit longer, and maybe my prompting isn't efficient. So I have, I'd have to think, well, what, what else would I want there? in that particular area. Well, I just want to extend. Oh, okay, there it is. Actually, that looks good. I don't like the trees up here. But that's not that big of a deal. 
But overall, I like where I'm at. Now I'm going to save it. And chances are that's going to get cropped. I just needed to extend. I just needed to extend this. So when I come to crop, now I have something to work with. So here I am, my four by five. Yeah, oh, look at that. I don't even need those trees. And look, so all I needed was just a little bit. And there it is. Now that I have that here, I can make creative choices. I can get rid of this tree here. But for now, let's just leave it. What I do want is this. Once I created it, once I have it all set, now what I'm going to do is apply any of my edits. Notice I didn't do edits first because I wanted to get the image the way the way I wanted it. Now I'm going to apply, uh, in this case here, let me select it, give it a second to render. Oh, we got a little too fast. There we go. Click on it. There we go. Come on, apply it. Once it applies it, we'll move on to the next set. There we are. Now if I go into edit, what did I do to it? Okay, I did do a little noise because it was a little, um, the noise was a little great. I put develop, I replaced the sky. So what I'm going to do now is, let's go back to develop. I'm going to increase the shadows much more. Pop a little contrast. Maybe just a little exposure. All right, that's for the entire image. What I'm going to do is use a radial gradient because I want your eye focused on the church steeple here. Let's see if it accomplishes this. Yeah, it does. Look at that. All right, there we have it. All right, so let's just review. Came down here. Um, revert to original. So here's the original image. Then we decided at first, let's clean up the mess. Don't start the editing there, clean it up. And once we did that, this was with our Jenny race. Then once we finished with the Jenny race, then we expanded it. Then after the expansion, then we come back in and we apply our edits to it. All right. So there you have it, um, and that's our new tool. So if, if it's not working the way you think it should, go back to what I just did. If it's like you saw those ugly power lines, if it's applying the power lines to the gen expand, well, get rid of the power lines. And if you want the power lines in, then prompt it and say, keep power lines, put a, uh, a telephone pole or a power pole in the scene, Whatever it is, you have the option of either letting Gen Expand analyze the image and make the changes for you, or you have a prompt that you can apply um, to it. All right? Well, guys, here before I let you go, keep in mind, Luminar Coffee Break, for those of you that are watching this on a rebroadcast, if you want to watch this live, here's our link to Zoom, and the benefit behind that is... We stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where they can ask any questions about this particular topic, photography, what's new in the industry, or any, or any tech support questions they may have. So that, that's on Mondays, Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Just once again, follow this link right here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button and the follow or the notification button so you'll be notified when new live episodes like this appear. So now if you're here now with our insider, Luminar Insiders, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.